Kevin Gates didn't drop. He dropped twice, actually. We're going to get the ceremony. His album, he's just dropped in a second. Let me let y'all know what's my, my real reaction to it. Excuse me. Y'all know Kevin Gates. I only got a few artists I really like and listen to that I'm going to listen to everything they drop. How my opinions on it. Hopefully y'all like these, some of these same artists I can talk about, but anybody that follow Glass TV, they know I like Kevin Gates, they know I like Future, they know I like Rod Wade, they know I like Lil Baby, they know I like Lil Dirt. Um, uh, but yeah, so it's like Rich Homie Kwan, real fan page shit, really on the low. Like I've been I've been watching these guys for years, so but Kevin Gates, man, he the recent one, he just dropped ceremony. Dope ass album. Real spiritually inclined, elevated album for my spiritual people. But uh, he dropped a surprise video a song, Super General Two, Super General One, and that shit was that shit was hard. I remember that song. As soon as he dropped it, that song trended on YouTube charts for like I want to say a good two months. And the Super General was like uh, a playoff of uh, Kodak Black. Super Grumman. But Super General 2, man. He mentioned Virginia and Super Grumman 2. If you don't know, man, Kevin Gates been showing love to Virginia and the DMV for a long, long while now. And I, I appreciate it from that. You know, just even him being one of my favorite artists or rappers. Then he mentioning places I know of or places I've been around. They talk about Tyson's Corner. They can talk about, you know. Alexandria, the 703, you feel me? I'm fucking with it, you feel me? He, of course, he rocked with some artists out of Virginia, you know? Young Mo, Fat Trill, you know, DC artists. Mentioned some DC artists in that shit. It's dope, man. It's always dope to hear one of your favorite artists mention some shit that you know about. I ain't gonna break down the dirt. I'm just giving y'all my reaction to it. Shit was dope. Shit is packed. I'm not sure if he was he was dissing in it though. That's all I, I was a little bit confused on, but it ain't my business. I don't care what they got going on. I just shit, he be mentioning Virginia. Anytime an artist mention Virginia, whether it's Kodak, Kevin Gates, Jack Boy, shit, Tupac, Jay-Z, I'ma listen to that shit. And I'ma probably like it too, but. He mentioned a couple artists in that joint. Young Mo, Fat Trill, Chris Bo, I Am North East, uh, Big Lave. A whole lot, of, whole lot of shit in that joint. Real action pack joint for me. He actually kicked off his Only the Generals tour at Portsmouth. That was dope. Where he actually spit in a fan's mouth, a pregnant fan's mouth, and I still can't get over that shit. Cause was this some type of ritual or some shit? What the fuck was that, Gates? When I see you, I gotta ask you about that. Cause what the fuck was that about? I gotta ask, was that like some ritual or some shit? What the fuck was that about? Or was that just Kevin Gates shit? You know, freaky that freaky ass Kevin Gates shit, bro. But man, I, I appreciate you showing love to Virginia, man. You know I'm from Virginia, you feel me? But I was kind of confused on the line because he said, look how they did me in Virginia. What do you mean by that, Gates? What happened? You come sit down with Glass, me talk about it. We can do it with about it, you know. Shit, can't wait to meet you, my guy. But what was that about? Y'all DC people, y'all Alexandria people, y'all got to get me hooked on why, what, what happened up there? But he said he got love for Alexandria. It's a hot go out to Alexandria. It's a hot go out to the people out there in, in, in DC and Baltimore and the 703. What that shit was about, y'all? Gates, what you talking about? Super Gremlin 2 though, man. That shit hard to me. I'm fucking with it. I wish I could play it, but y'all know YouTube gonna flag it. But, um, yeah. Kicked off his tour in Virginia. Got songs with Virginia artists. I know he got a song with Young Mo. They joined it. 30 million. <sighs> Big. It was a remix to My Soul. The first one I remember when Young Mo dropped the first one. So it was dope to see them come back around and drop a second one. And the second one go crazier than the first one. He got that wedding freestyle when he talk about. He actually got a, a few songs where he talk about uh, Virginia. Rock with you, Gates. 
still gotta ask you about spitting in that fan mouth, cause I don't know what the fuck that was about. That was it was a white spit too. A dehydrated motherfucker too, and she was just excited. I need fans like that though, so I can't judge. I need fans that'll let me spit in their mouth. They love me so much, they'll let me spit in their fucking mouth. But um uh, ceremony. Dope ass album, man. A lot of it had to grow on me. I might not be ready for it. Or the or the type of verbiage and language you got on it, but dope ass album. You know, I'm a Gates fan, so some of them songs they had already been in my playlist because I didn't stalk the YouTubes and I'm a snippet junkie, so I'd have been listening to them and know what lyrics is next and know what the songs sound like. And I'm actually glad uh my favorite song off it is uh Broken Men and it it won't happen and protect children is pretty dope that uh that rumors that don't go in too dope ass album man dope ass album i feel like this one he got a lot off his chest like he said he like watched his interviews he like he reuniting with his old self and it's crazy because that's why i feel like i'm at right now in my life like just man we don't you know we ain't looking for the opinions of others, the external uh, love from people no more. I feel like the universe is just doing so a lot of healing and, and purging right now. For people that don't understand what I mean, the universe is getting rid of the negatives, even though it's still going to be always negative on this universe. But the conscious mind, people who know what I'm talking about, is getting rid of, rid of the negative. A lot of people is coming back to know that, hey, man, you chosen for something, you was here for something, you built for something bigger than you a lot of people like me and i'm really talking to y'all we've been in competition with ourselves for so long not realizing other people have been in competition with us while we in competition with ourselves so now that we got to get shitted on by the people that's in competition with us while we in competition with ourselves it forced us to actually accept ourselves and make us bow our heads down and just be like yo you know what i'm sick of this shit man i love me you don't see nobody like me. He who seen me has seen God. You know what I mean? Dope album. But I can tell it's not for everybody. Not just yet. And that's what happened with a lot of, you know, spiritual folks and spiritual people. They be ahead of their time. I'm one of the people. Like, it's been things that I've had visions about or things I've seen or stuff I've said to people and they thought I was crazy or said I was crazy. And then years later, I see them doing exactly what the hell. I told them was gonna happen or being a real visionary, seeing shit happen, I knew was gonna happen. We'll get into that, you know, another time. That ain't for the, you know, I don't got time for people be saying I'm crazy. I don't even care to break a lot of shit down. Just just know this shit real deep rooted with a nigga, you know. But ceremony, dope album, man. So if I could let anybody know, like I said, I'm a, I'm one who battle depression, deep depressions, I battle suicidal thoughts, I battle mental health, I battle physical health, I battle purging myself, I battle cleansing my spirit and asking God to forgive me for my sins and all this, you know, a lot of spiritual, spiritually inclined elevation has taken place for me to get to this place of where I am. A lot of deaths have happened and, you know, a lot of a lot of grieving and, and just acceptance came with this path that I'm on and this new journey I'm on. And I can appreciate my artist, man. This nigga Kevin Gates' music really changed my life, man. His music was, at one point, probably the only thing that was making sense to, to me. So I treated, you know, his music like a real guy for me. So I appreciate Kevin Gates and I love his, you know, love just watching the, 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 the guy, grown man, really be a grown man and be a great man. And, more so anything taking care of kids and I, I like to see shit like that. I like to see people evolve. They can come from one place and turn it into something different and become bigger than what they ever been. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been a fan of Kevin Gates for years. So for me to be a fan of Kevin Gates when he was straight, fresh out of prison, 2011, talking crazy, you feel me? Going against his city and his city counting him out and people not liking his music to people loving his music to him finding himself and then he really found himself and when you find yourself you really broken down and you gotta have some acceptance and accountability for the things that took place as to why you even feel broken and then watching the nigga rebuild it back up and it's like I got to watch this just 
his brother's journey. So I appreciate this album. Like I ain't I ain't one of them people too. I'ma let the artists create what they what they create. A lot of niggas they be like, bro, I want you make another two phones, bro. I want you make this. And I, they don't accept the art for what it is, not knowing like these artists, some of these artists is telling what's really on their mind, heart, body, and soul in the in the moment. You know what I'm saying? He's he's an artist who always drop. A real vulnerable, emotional artist. I can appreciate that because I'm one like that myself. So ceremony reaction, man. That's what it, that's what it is. The overall album. You get, you know, if I didn't hear some of the songs or was a Kevin Gates super fan or like his music, I won't say super fan because I ain't really a fan of people. I just I like when people put out into the world and the universe. Be a fan of that. I love that. He get a seven point five out of me. Some song I'm I'm good about. That. I ain't really care to really do it, you know what I'm saying? I do like, he got that one, rock, 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 my lead, eat him. I ain't like that, I'm going to be real. Because I feel like for Kevin Gates, it just was Gates trying to normalize what's going on right now. And it's like, nah, bro, you ain't have to do that. I love cars and I still play cars until this day is two years old. Like, that's one of the ones, cars are Generals too. I'm waiting on the third one. Dope album though, man. I appreciate you, Gates. I'm just a messenger though, man. I'm just a nigga with an opinion.